Hey everyone, Itay Manero here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to paint a bird with oils in Procreate. So let's jump right into it. In order to achieve this, I'm going to be using my thick paint brush set for Procreate. You can find it along with a free mini version for you to try out on my Gumroad page through the link in the description below. I'm also going to be using this beautiful photo reference by David Claude. I will leave the link in the description as well, in case you want to follow along. For this painting, I'm going to limit myself to 7 specific brushes from the full version of the thick paint set, white palette knife, super wet flat brush, canvas hyper mixer, dry directional strokes, new blender, brush strokes texture tool, and the last one, lazy oil roll. The size of my canvas is 8.5 by 11 inches at 300 dpi. Before doing anything else, I'm going to import a series of textures from the ones that are included with this set and organize my layers. In the first layer at the bottom, I'm importing an oil color based texture. I'm choosing the one called deeper pink, because there is pink in the bird's chest, and I want to use this layer as my underpainting. During the painting process, I will let some of that pink to show through some areas between my strokes, and that will help to unify the whole artwork. The second layer on top of this one is going to be the layer where I will be painting, so it is going to be empty for now. The third layer will be for the sketch, so we'll leave it empty for now as well. In the fourth layer, I'm going to import an oil texture sheet. For this particular painting, I'm choosing the texture number 7, but feel free to try any of the other ones if you like. I'm setting up this layer to overlay mode, and I can adjust how strong I want this texture to be just by moving the opacity slider. I'll leave it at 50%. The fifth and final layer is where I'm going to import a canvas texture. In this case, I'm picking the one called Canvas 3, and I'll change the layer mode to Multiply. Sometimes I like to adjust the curves in the canvas texture so that the little dots in the texture are visible but in a more subtle way. You could leave the texture just as it is. Now that we have everything we need, we can start the painting. Just a quick reminder that you can see what brush I'm using at all times by looking at this rectangle here. Using the super wet flat brush, I'm starting with a basic sketch. To help me with that, first I'm identifying the main shape of the composition, which is this sort of triangle that the bird and the branch are forming together. Keeping this triangle in mind will help me draw the basic forms of the bird and the tree branch, with the right proportions and relationships with each other. Also notice how thick my strokes are. I don't care about the details right now, so I don't need to be very accurate. I can also erase the triangle lines as soon as I don't need them. Once this very rough sketch is done, I dedicate a moment to look at the whole drawing, checking for mistakes in my proportions in relation to the reference, and I can do small adjustments by selecting the different areas and using the transform tool. When I'm happy with it, I lower the opacity of this first sketch, I create a new layer on top, and I'm going to do a second sketch, where I will use the first one as a base for a more refined version. You can see how I'm working more up close, my brush is smaller, and I'm paying a lot more attention to defining the details. I'm not doing any shading at all during this stage. I'm only focusing on detailing the subject with simple and accurate lines. With this final sketch done, I can start working in the painting layer. Using the lazy oil raw brush, I begin painting the background. As I said before, I don't want to cover all the surface. I'm allowing the texture of the brush to leave empty gaps, where the pink color base is going to show through most of the blue is going to be surrounding the bird, while the edges of the canvas are going to show more of that pink. The bottom part of the canvas is going to have some of that pink too, but I'm going to paint the yellows with a more dense covering, and also paying attention to the darker yellow, almost green, that we can see below the branch in the reference. Whenever I need to, I can switch to the smudge tool with the same current brush, to blend the colors that are already in my canvas. 
with the background established, I move over to paint the bird. Super wet flat brush is going to be my main brush from now on, and I will be using the other brushes here and there for some specific parts as I go. What I'm doing now, is casually laying down strokes of colors in the figure, while checking the corresponding areas in the reference. and trying to match them, I am slowly building up the layers of colors, and if you notice, the direction of each stroke is following the volumes of the different parts of the bird, like around the head, and down the neck, below the eye and the beak. Here I am using the dry directional strokes brush to put a base of colors in the branch, while also following the direction of the branch with my strokes. I'm focusing more in the head area, because that is going to be the focal point of my painting, so I want to make sure that it is well detailed. I'm building the shape and volumes in the beak. And also detailing the eye and its surroundings. Using now the canvas hypermixer brush with the smudge tool, I can blend a little bit while also generating a bit of canvas texture. Switching to the white palette knife brush, I can cover a bigger area with my strokes in the left side of the body. Sometimes I'll also use the new blender brush instead of the canvas hypermixer to get some smoother transitions between colors. Back to the super wet flat brush, I continue to build up the feathers in the rest of the body. I'm doing my best to make a distinction between the colors in the belly area from the ones in the wing, as we can clearly see a division in the reference. For some larger feathers, like the ones we can see in the bottom part of the wings, I'm using the white palette knife brush, because it will give me a bit more texture in the strokes, and that will help me simulate the texture of the feathers better. I switch back to the dry directional strokes. This brush is great for anything related to trees and branches, because its directional nature helps you build texture along a specific form. I'm also using it to define the negative space around the branch, using the colors from the background to help me refine the shapes. I can also go back to the super wet flat brush, to have a bit more accuracy whenever I need it. A nice touch I like to give my oil paintings when working with this set, is to use the brush strokes texture tool, to add some very realistic bristle marks overlapping between areas. 
For example, I can grab yellow from the background and overlap it over the edge of the bird's wing, or color pick some of the blue from the sky and overlap it over other parts of the bird's silhouette. All that is left is to define some details a bit further, like some of the feathers in the bird, adding a few more lines in the branch, and giving proper shape to the bird's feet and claws. I'm also taking the darker spots in the bird's body a little further, to make sure that the general contrast of the painting is properly balanced. I'm also adding some additional highlights to the feathers in the chest and the head. Using the white palette knife, I add a lighter yellow in the background, above the branch and behind the bird, so that the figure of the bird stands out more. For the last touch, it never hurts to play a little bit with the curves tool and see if we can improve the general contrast, values and saturation. And this is the final result. I really hope you liked this video. If you use my brushes and post your art on social media, feel free to use the hashtag ManeroBrushes so that I can see what you create. I will be extremely happy to share your creations with my audience. Don't forget to subscribe for more art related videos and give me a thumbs up. Also, make sure to check out my Gumroad page, where you will find the thick paint brush set for Procreate, and many other sets that I have available. I'm sure something will suit your artistic needs. All the links are in the description below. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.